two former top U.S. generals have blamed the Biden administration for the chaotic departure of U.S. forces from Afghanistan. Former chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff, retired General Mark Milley, and former commander of U.S. Central Command, retired General Kenneth McKenzie, made the comments as they testified before U.S. lawmakers. Now, the rare public testimony for the first time highlighted the strain and differences the military leaders faced during the final days in Afghanistan. The generals said the military advised the Biden administration to keep at least 2,500 service members in order to maintain stability. Along with this, they blamed the State Department for delaying the evacuation of U.S. citizens from Afghanistan back in 2021. In fact, uh, I was concerned by the middle of July. I was concerned about the different pace of Department of Defense planning as compared to Department of State planning. Having a plan is one thing, preparing the plan, vetting the plan, coordinating the plan with the people that are going to actually carry you out, the Department of Defense, that's another set of tasks completely. The remarks contrasted with an internal White House review of the administration's decisions as the report found that President Joe Biden's decisions have been constrained by previous withdrawal agreements negotiated by former President Donald Trump. The chaotic withdrawal of U.S. forces from Afghanistan created a panic situation in the country. In 2021, thousands of Afghans and U.S. citizens desperately tried to get on U.S. military flights. U.S. forces were able to rescue more than 130,000 civilians before the final U.S. military aircraft departed. In the final days, 13 U.S. service members were killed after they were attacked by a suicide bomber at the Kabul airport. Since the U.S. departure, the Taliban have controlled Afghanistan that have led to many dramatic changes for the population there. This includes the loss of rights for women and girls in the country in particular. For more on this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani sent us this report from New York. Retired generals Mark Milley and Kenneth McKenzie testified before Congress in an often heated exchange with Republican lawmakers blaming the State Department for delaying the evacuation of U.S. citizens from Afghanistan in 2021. They claimed that the decision to initiate non-combatant evacuation operations came too late, leading to the chaos and the death of 13 U.S. service members. The generals also criticized the U.S. Embassy in Kabul for obstructing coordination on a possible evacuation evacuation plan. Republican lawmakers are calling for accountability. Democrats say that they're politicizing the hearing. The testimony comes as new light is being shed on the friction between the Defense Department and the State Department during that withdrawal and raises questions about who ultimately is responsible. The State Department late on Tuesday put out a statement saying that they are quote unquote extremely proud about the operations that they carried out in Kabul and how it went. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.